Okay, sick. So, do we know which match we're jumping into next? Ooh, okay, we actually get to see which uh, poor, poor Falco is going to get terrorized by Axe's young Link um, as we get to watch Rocky and Bobby battle <laughs> it out next. That should be pretty fun. Unless um, they've already played? No, yeah, are we, are we going to Bobby Big Ball? That, yeah, Bobby? that's what we're going to... Okay. Yeah, yeah, we're going into Bobby. Yeah, yeah, yep, perfect, yep, perfect. Gotcha. Um, so Bobby actually, I, I don't know if you you had a chance to catch it on stream. Uh, he actually just played Trap Lord um, as mm -hmm. like one of the matches uh, to get into the top sixty four. Uh, Trap Lord is a NorCal Falco who's also quite strong. Um, so sort of you know along the lines of Rocky, but um, I do think they play pretty different. But Trap Lord brought uh, Bobby to like a last stock game three, like super super close, yep. um, and Bobby was like barely able to close it out which was really hyped to watch. Yeah. So that's kind of where Bobby lives. I feel like Bobby is super, <laughs> you know, dialed into the tournament nerves, right? Like he just enters so many tournaments at this point mm -hmm. that coming down to a last stock situation, he's like, ah, oh, yes, another Tuesday, but it's actually, you know, major day. And <laughs> so should be, I imagine he's not too phased from having had a close set because he enters so many tournaments at this point that this happens to him all the time. Um, that being said, Rocky definitely has been looking on the up and up in the last few weeks he's like kind of came back recently and has just been looking more and more into form the better he gets so yeah Should completely agree set. absolutely yeah and rocky um has been entering so bobby and rocky have both been entering tmt recently and i think they played did they play last week Am uh, i, remembering I don't know correctly? if it was last week i know they've definitely had a few sets recently mm -hmm. um if not last week or the week before right so yeah, the two of them have been going. I think Bobby Big Balls kind of has the edge, but uh, Rocky might have taken one at some point. I don't remember. So. Yeah, I think that's right. Whew. We are into the matchup. Oh, look at this punish game. Going for the platform tech chase with the shine. Keeping it going. Turns into a platform tech chase on the other side. Randall getting involved in the edge guard. That's oh, how you know it's Bobby on green, because he went to Randall <laughs> yeah. right away. <laughs> He's like, ooh, Randall, I'm down. Let's go. <laughs> oh, Rocky with the response there. Gets the laser. Punishes the getup attack with the dare. Oh, the yep. F tilt doesn't quite connect. Good no fast fall mix up from Bobby there to avoid the forward tilt. And Bobby immediately hops back onto Randall just to just to let him know, you know, that he can. <laughs> oh, interesting read by Rocky to actually just drop yep. the laser in there and get the back air. Brings it back to even right away. Yeah, I feel like I see quite a lot of people do that laser, that drop off laser. But mm -hmm. I haven't seen people just have the confidence to just drop down laser and then convert it into a back air. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty cool mm -hmm. ending. But Bobby actually just snagged the lead right back and he has a whole stock lead now. Okay, Rocky gets the grab. Man, I love Whoa. the way that both of these players are moving around levels. Oh, oh, and Rocky just steals it again. Back to even. Yeah, these guys are just killing each other right now. The edge guards are, are so decisive. It doesn't even look like they have to edge guard each other because they're just finding the first downer that you could on the first mm -hmm. recovery options that they pick. And they've done this kind of back and forth, but this time you don't even need an edge guard. Rocky's saying, I got you. I'll take my own stock. <laughs> Ooh, and Bobby loves to do that super high up B to burn invincibility, but Rocky was ready for it. Goes up and hits the back air. Doesn't get too yep. much off it, which is part of the idea that why Bobby does it. But Yep, yep. Uh, oh Bobby's the first one to find the first big combo. Oh, the dare trades with the up tilt. More. Great tech chase. Goes for the back air. Doesn't want to go for anything fancy there. Take the guaranteed damage. You already have the lead. And can he close out the edge guard here? Oh, great shine. Unfortunately, he doesn't wave land out of it. Oh, I <laughs> wanted the reverse near there. Oh, and Rocky turns it around with the, just a simple up tilt into the dare, bringing it to last stock. He is way behind, and he gets caught with the back air. Bobby will take that one. Yup. So Bobby still looking in good form, uh, despite his close set with a different Falco. Sometimes, honestly, the stylistic change can be a bigger deal than, you mm -hmm. know, how good your opponent is playing or something. It's just, yeah, you know what? I haven't seen the options that this opponent is putting in front of me. Um, Rocky, I'm sure he's he's kind of either rewatched or thought about the previous sets that they've played, maybe coming into it a little bit more prepared. Regardless, though, his tech skills looking on point, and I think uh, we're kind of seeing, like, pretty good Bobby. We did have an SD from Rocky, and it still went down the last stock, right? So Yeah, that's true. Definitely, if Rocky cleans that up a little bit, and he, uh, he is the one to go to FD. Yeah, Rocky showing he's got the confidence in his punish game. Bobby going to be the one to open things up, though. He's got Rocky stuck in the corner. He finds the up tilt. Oh no! Catches the rolling with another up tilt, or the tech in. And then, he, oh, that slide off with the back air. He's just gonna close out the whole stock. Yeah, that was a great read. You kind of set him off stage and you're like, you can take the conservative approach and just let him back on the ledge, kind of ledge trap him a little bit. But no, Bobby just goes way out there and immediately kills him with the back air. And Bobby actually finds the next opening. You saw Rocky doing a lot of laser dash dance and Bobby just calls it out. Say, I don't believe you anymore. I don't think you're coming in on these threats. 
I'm actually going to be the one to go in, but great combo from Rocky. Oh, can't close it out, though. Okay, Rocky picks it back up. He reads the roll, but a great arms attack by Bobby. Oh. Rocky gets oh, the grab, shine back in. All right, so three stocks piece. Oh, man. Bobby keeps catching Rocky during his invincibility. Rocky's, like, trying to jump over him or whatever, and Bobby just hits a back air. Yeah. So that's Honestly, happened, like, a same, couple times. Same back and forth, right? We actually saw, like, two mm -hmm. different cool openings from Rocky uh, on the flip side of that. Oh, my God. He sticks his jump. Finds a down tilt. Oh, he has no jump still. Bobby never gave it back to him. That was such a clinical edge guard. It was, like, so swag, but actually so calculated, right? Like, that was really good. <laughs> yeah, he just cut off all of Rocky's op options and then just oh. held him in this position for so long. He gets out by with a side B, and then yeah. he spot dodges the shine and gets a shine of his own. Oh, but Rocky doesn't want to take any damage here. Even this 23 feels bad, right? Like, when you're when you're in a position like this where you're two stocks behind and you kind of just want to find the one backer to close it out, Bobby finding a couple stray hits feels real bad, but oh, the blazer laser, another edge guard. Bobby's edge guards this set have been insane. He's actually just closing out every combo off the back of his great edge guarding. Jeez, takes game two. That was even yeah. more decisive than the first one, too. Yeah, and those edge guards are so disgusting because, like, he's not even... Like, Bobby is sort of known for being this, like, mag like this massive combo fiend, right? Where he just goes for, like, combo after combo after combo and gets, like, these huge percentage leads. But in this game, he's actually pushing Rocky off stage in a lot of scenarios pretty early percents and then just closing out with that edge guard, which is such a big deal, right? Yeah, like, and I feel like that last stock was him cashing in on that. He actually got, like, the up air DI mix-up covering DI in. Mm -hmm, and in the mm -hmm. past, I, I used to always meme that Bobby Big Balls only covers DI in. You know, <laughs> and I feel like now he's kind of showing the the other side of that. Like, actually, I'm down to just back here at 70 and close out Netsguard right away. Suddenly, you're scared of going off stage because Bobby's killing you every time you're off stage. So you start holding in, boom, Bobby Big Balls goes back to his combo game, and that's when you know kind of where he shines. So showing both sides of the mix up there, Bobby's looking real strong. All right, so game three, we're gonna go to Battlefield. Uh, Rocky sort of opens up Bobby first, ah, but he gives up the pressure a little bit there, and a great, great shorten. shorten by Bobby. Even that side B on stage was back, uh, was good. He kind of edge cancels on the platform, gets down aired, and gets out, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if you can get hit and still make it out, that's, that's a pretty good trade for you. Oh, going back with this guard. Big read from Bobby, throws out a forward smash. Doesn't hit, but you can see that he's going for the closeout on every edge guard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he's also just putting himself in good spots to go for reads, right? Like, mm -hmm. even like, like when he doesn't find it, he was oh. in the spot. Oh, he goes for everything. I think he wanted an edge cancel there. <laughs> Uh, doesn't quite find it, but just picks it back up on his invincibility. Yeah, knowing Bobby, there's a chance he wanted the suicide. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, wouldn't be surprised, but... Listen, I'm not going to disagree with you. <laughs> <laughs> Too fast for his own good, but does get there. Now we have three stocks apiece. Finds a CC shine. Looking for the right move at the right percents. Yeah, and that's a big part. Of, like, we talked about how Bobby is sort of getting out of stuff. Uh, again, Oof. the CC shine twice in a row. Yeah. Oh, the dash to JC Shine, are you kidding me? That was some of the trickiest. Uh, everybody aerials out of that dash dance there. You can tell even Rocky thought that, so he starts holding away. Oh my god, Bobby. <laughs> Go for the utmost there. He's actually just moving too fast right now. Yeah, and, and I really want to mention on that dash dance shine, like one of the big things there is if oh! you're going for a shine. Oh, and he gets there. Jesus, Bobby. Uh, to go back to the Are you kidding me? Yeah, seriously. Uh, oh, and he gets and the off the off the Okay. Give him something, man. Come on. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. Just like okay. that. Rocky ties it up saying, what are you guys freaking out about? It's a tie game. <laughs> You're not wrong, right? Like, it feels <laughs> yeah. like Bobby's in such control, but we're just even. Yep, yep. Oh, great. CC forward smash. That looked like a, an attempted shield drop attempt that turned into a CC forward smash. Love it, though. <laughs> okay. Rocky forces him off with a get-up attack. Oh. Find oh, the CC trade. Yep. Oh, Rocky Up. just calls that out. Dang. Yeah, okay. He's going for tech in place on side platforms a lot. It's uh, when you're going for the tech chase, that's like the hardest one to cover. So I like that Rocky's recognizing that and doing it. But the miss side B, that's going to lose him to stock and give Bobby a slight advantage. Well, the slight advantage has been shown. That that's all he needs. And when you're one mm -hmm. game away from taking the set, you don't want to be at any disadvantage, right? Oh, but the down air! And just like that, he's no longer at any disadvantage. Ties it up, last stock situation here. Bobby just I... needs one more stock to take out the set, though. 
Yeah, and both players are showing a ton of uh, skill with the dash dance into just approaching Shine. Uh, and that yeah. seems to be like a big opening for the matchup. You talked about how important it is to look for the right thing. Oh, Bobby's gonna live. Gets called out on that edge cancel. Oh, great back throw, but doesn't get the close out. Rocky actually gets the side B spike and kills him with it. The cheeser becomes the cheesy. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, so one of the things that I, I want to point out here is is just the level of DI mix-ups that Bobby is throwing at, uh, at, at Rocky once he's able to get an opening there. Um, we see Bobby going for these really ambiguous shines in certain places. You talked about it on the side platform. Uh, it, it's coming up in a couple other places as well. Uh, when you go for that shine mid combo, the side that you hit the shine on determines which way your opponent wants to di in a lot of cases and so by doing that dash dance jump cancel shine that he's doing he makes it hard for rocky to tell which way he's even supposed to di and mm -hmm. so bobby gets to aim to one side but make it so unclear which side that's going to be that he sort of has that informational advantage uh mid combo yeah. so i really like that option yeah like the shine itself is a di mix up just with which side of shine you hit not to mention that he's doing it in times when i think rocky's not even expecting shine to be on the table he's expecting just the back air right he's just like ah this is the part where i di the back air away and then he gets shine and he's like wow i didn't even realize there was a mix up being played right so <laughs> oh so we go to Dreamland, Bobby wanting more space. Mm -hmm. Oh, he gets this spot dodge. Yeah, going for laser grab can kind of be scary in this matchup sometimes. The, the risk reward sometimes is either I get a grab or I get spot dodge shine, right? And that risk mm -hmm. reward can kind of be scary given that Falco doesn't get the most off of grab, um, mm -hmm. but it is very forcing. The more you grab Falco, the more you force him into spot dodge and rolls and stuff, so. Mm -hmm. See how many lasers he gets here. Oh, and he does call out the side B, but gets the soft reverse back air. And does get All there. Right. Yeah, that I don't understand exactly what that trade was. I, I think it was back air for back air, but in any case, it works out very well for Bobby. Yeah. And Bobby, again, with these CCs, he's just recognizing that Rocky wants to come into him and isn't committing to the late down air. So he yeah. can just hold the CC. And that time it was a laser instead of an air, but he keeps getting it either way. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Yep, I think uh, one of my favorite things about the way Bobby plays against Spacey's is that he tends to look for shine. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. at 0%, he approaches with shine, that dash JC shine, and on the defense, he's looking for shine out of shield and CC shine. So every hit that Bobby gets feels like it's the start of the big combo. Rocky's getting more, like, stray hits, which kind of, like, allow him to control space in a different way. Um, but Bobby's kind of playing for those big openers every single time. It's just like that. Rocky finds a shield drop shine, which is one of the biggest openings you can get. Oh! Forward smash to finish it. Okay, so Bobby now playing at a pretty significant deficit here after looking so dominant in the first couple games. Is Rocky just going to tie this back up? Oh, oh, I love this reverse forward air there. It's actually the best. Actually, the only way to create a DI mix up there, too. I think uh, we're all used to now seeing the soft reverse in air, but that requires setup. you got to put the air out in front of them and then fall into them. The forward air just lets you set up a DI mix up way less reactively. And uh, yeah, Bobby takes it all the way down. Ooh, all right, so two stocks apiece. Bobby continue to be pretty tricky on his edge guards. That seems to be working out pretty well for him so far. Oh, Rocky catches the roll again, this time with the back air. Rocky so, or Bobby so high percent that Rocky oh, can't quite close out the edge guard actually. What a conversion from Bobby. Realizing that on the knockdown, he had to go for a back air to keep it going. Turns into a tech trap. Just like that, Bobby is, he's not in full control, but he's getting so much damage off of this. And now he's in controls. Turns into a tech chase into corner pressure. There's a soft reverse snare we were talking about, and oh. kind of tricks him. It was like very tricky to see where the camera even was. Rocky thought he needed a short, maybe he went for a mid-short, I'm not sure. Either way, Bobby's the first one to close out that stock after being at over 150% for a while. Oh. <laughs> Side B, once again, just closes it out. I think that's how Rocky took the last game, yeah. right? So, yeah. Side B giveth, and Side B taketh away. One for one. It's fair. It's fair. It's fine. You know, that's fine. Fair the uh. ditto. Other characters complain about Falco's Side B, but when Falco gets a Side B, and gets hit by side B in the same set. All's fair. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's, it, that's just what it is. It's fine. Um, so really good stuff to both players. That was a, a pretty insane set. I really liked in particular um, the way that Bobby was playing through his combo game. Um, mm -hmm. I thought that the mix-ups that he was showing were just really difficult to play against. Uh, good stuff to Rocky also though to just um, weather the storm and like play out his game plan rather than trying. Yeah. Like I, I feel like a lot of players would have been like, Oh god, he's out comboing me. I have to go for like big openings. And Rocky was like, "No, it's fine." Like, 
I can I can tic tac my way up to forty percent and then get the big openings from there. Mm -hmm. um, and he still found the... some of the big ones. He had yeah. like the shield drop shrines were pretty consistent. Mm -hmm. um, and then he tended to find openings post forty with like aerial into shine into the big combos. Um, but yeah, he does tend to favor ending the combos with the forward smasher or back air, setting them off stage, and then closing out the edge guard. So interesting kind of stylistic difference there. Both of them totally effective as you can see the rock is basically one hit away from being the one to bring it to game five so mm -hmm. yeah absolutely right and i think one of the things i really liked about the way that rocky approached that set was even though bobby was getting a huge combo off of like every hit rocky was willing to play for small hits when it was appropriate and go for big hits when it was appropriate right mm -hmm. i feel like a lot of players would have um would have overextended on their not big openers and gotten punished for it and right. so rocky to maintain his game plan uh even in the ditto even when his opponent is finding these huge hits time after time uh, i thought that was pretty impressive yep so in the end though 